Phew, what a day. I need to lie down for a few minutes to regain some energy. Huh? What's this? <gasps> How did they get here? Huh, I need to ask Sam. Huh? <gasps> oh! Looks like our house is gradually turning into one big coin box. Sam, we need to talk. <laughs> What's all this? Oh, you found my coins! Yay! I know these are coins, but what are they doing under the pillow and in my shoe? Uh, I forgot to warn you that I'm saving money for a super purchase! Saving money in my sneakers? Those are my hiding spots! But there's a problem… The problem is that those sneakers are not a coin box! No! I keep forgetting where I put the money. I think I know how to help you. <laughs> Come on. I suggest making a money bank for your coins. Then you won't forget where you put your savings. Ugh, no! Money banks are so boring! Old-fashioned. Um, I haven't finished yet. It will be an automatic money box. And very fun. Will it automatically steal my money? <laughs> Almost. Will it automatically give my money back? If it gives you your money back, you will never have the sum you need. Perhaps you're right. Now we need to draw an outline on the cardboard. To draw some teeth. Did I hear right? You're drawing teeth? You mean this toothy money box will munch my coins? Oh, don't forget that these are cardboard teeth. They're drawn. Does it matter? These jaws look fearsome, like a shark! <laughs> uh, um, a little bit more. There. Oh, it looks scary! Don't worry, it's your future money box. The toothy guy can rest for now, and I'm going to need this lid. That's where the money will fall. I'll unscrew the lid for now and insert the plastic piece into the box. Right into this opening. I need to screw it in carefully. And put the lid back on. Perfect. See? Hey, Sam, could you please help me cut out these pieces for the teeth? Sure, sure. I knew you couldn't do without me. To make the teeth snowy white, we won't paint them. Just glue some paper over them. Take them quickly before the glue dries out! Carefully now. And repeat on the other side. There. <laughs> this smile is as white as a toothpaste commercial. Or like in a shark! Now we're going to repeat the trick with paper. And we'll cover the whole box with green paper. Be careful with the corners. It's best to use self-adhesive paper here. Go nice and slow to avoid any bubbles under the paper. You didn't say which size the eyes should be. That's why I cut out a lot of them. Oh, these will do perfectly. Yes, <laughs> they look great. They look kind of evil. Well, it'll have to scare strangers away from your treasures. So I think it's just the right look. This won't do. Let's make stands from cardboard. They'll keep our money box stable. And there. Perfect, see? Sue, can I make a toy for Fluffy out of this thing? Oh, no! We need this thing for our money box. I'll get something else. Now we can start making the mechanism for our automatic money box. I need to bend this wire a few times. Be careful with pliers, guys. It needs some effort. This is what we get. Now I need to secure the wire inside the money box in the openings I made in advance. There you go. Aha! Looking good. Guys, I hope you're watching our videos attentively. If you do, watch this video to the end and write how many coins I used in this video. Sam, that seems like a difficult task. I'm sure our viewers can do it. Now comes the most interesting and difficult part. First, I'll draw an outline on this wooden stick. No ruler needed. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to make an opening. Ask an adult to help you with the drill. There. Be careful! <laughs> Why are you wearing glasses? 
to stay safe, of course. Oh, let's attach this piece to the motor. Great, now let's start assembling. I'll remove this piece so it won't get in the way, but we'll need it later. And I'll glue the cardboard base here. It'll hold the motor with the wires. Carefully now. And... There. Perfect. It should look like this. Where am I going to throw my coins? Into the mouth? We'll make a special arm. A money box with arms and teeth? Oh no! I'll need these two cardboard pieces. And also, these half-circle pieces of foil with wires attached to them. And we need to put them together. Like this. This is the money receiver we made. And moving on to the arms. I'll measure 4.5 centimeters on these wooden sticks. Now we really do need the ruler. <laughs> and I'll make a cut. Not actually a cut. I'll use a file for that and make a dent. Not all the way through, see? And you get this kind of bend. I'll apply some glue along the bend to make it sturdier. Could you make these for me as well? What for? Well, I don't know. I'll scratch Fluffy with them. <laughs> I'll think about it. Let's assemble our machine now. One arm. And the other one. Just put them on the wire. There. I should secure it with glue, just in case. And now it's time to attach the coin receiver. Don't be shy with the glue. It should hold really well. And I think it looks good. Let's hide all of these wires inside the box. One. Yeah. Whew. Working with wires can be difficult but the results are totally worth it. And the other one, nice and slow. We need to add an accumulator to make our mechanism work. There. We only need to connect it now. Huh, there are so many wires in here. Huh, let's see. Look, I decorated our money box with these ridges. Now it's even more fearsome. No thief will dare touch Sam's coins. And I also connected all the wires inside the box. Now I only need to cover all the insides with cardboard. We have to make sure the coins don't fall inside. Some glue should help secure it. But not too much. Yes! Perfect! And I need to attach the arms to the wires. On both sides. Done! Hey Sam, come give this money machine a try! Coming! Oh! Oh, let me try. <gasps> yeah, it works! Do it again! I'll start with the smallest one. <laughs> awesome! More. Yay! Oh, this is so cool! Wow! And the biggest one. Yes! Now three small ones. Wow! Awesome! Okay, two middle-sized ones. And... <gasps> oh, amazing! Oh, let me try! <gasps> it's awesome! Hey guys, do you like our new machine? Tell your friends about our channel and give this video lots of thumbs ups. Bye! Hey, hello guys! Today we're going to make a cool sheepy bank with a gumball vending machine. Great cash back! All banks should consider this option. First, I made a couple of templates. Five tablets with round holes on the edge. Uh, are you sure a gumball fits in there and doesn't get stuck? Of course, Sammy. I drew a circle around the gumball on our cardboard beforehand. The hole I made is even a little larger. Now we apply the glue to the base of each tablet. And add a little bit of magic. Hop. Nice and neat. Impressive. But I still don't understand how we get a sheet from this. Be patient, Sam. You're an economist after all. We've got a construction like this. And the gumball still fits in perfectly. Now let's make a fastening. 
Insert a sharp stick approximately in the middle and cut off the tips like this. Done! I also made another similar template. But it's not for gumballs, it's for coins! Huh, and what's the difference? There's not just a round hole at its edge, but a hole with an angled cardboard. So the coin rolls down nicely. Sam, it's time to make the sheep. We need to cut some walls for the base out of cardboard. Can you do it? I can manage important economical issues. You really think I can't handle the cardboard? <laughs> okay, I believe you. Take all the necessary stuff and check out the dimensions in my notebook. We'll be done, boss. Oh, wait, huh? I can't do it right now. What? I can't proceed with our craft until you give us a thumbs up. So, hmm, they're much better. Now I'm on it. In the meantime, I'm going to finish the main mechanism. Let's place the wooden rim around the hole for our coins and fix this part with super glue. There and here. Easy. Now we can connect the tablet for gumballs with the tablet for coins, getting a unified mechanism. Here, the construction is done! So soon my money is materializing! Uh, Sam, I don't get it. Did you cut out the walls for a sheepy bank? So that's what I'm talking about! Here. Here are the first, second, and third platforms. And some walls for our sheepy bank. Great job, Sammy. Since you did so good, turn around for a second, please. Huh, what's that? Turn back. I brought your work to perfection! Not bad, Sue. Let's get this piece done and set up our construction so everything is perfect. Here's another wall! Thanks! There we go. Now we need to make the main mechanism of our construction. It will push out the gumballs. Pay attention that we removed the upper cardboard layer here. It reminds me of a swing for two! Yay! <laughs> Let's call it a swing for cash back! We also have some wooden parts. Let's glue them together as well. Very carefully. Now this is the base of our mechanism. So it's sort of our sheep's brain since it will perform the general work. Well, in a way. <laughs> Sam, you're very creative. You bet. Business is all about creativity. Let's get back to the filling of our sheep. Let's add a small wooden holder for the rubber band. And glue it to the main construction, of course. I put the rubber band onto the mechanism, correct? Absolutely. We need to put the ready wooden mechanism here, where we made this special hole. Oh, that's why we needed it. This construction will give us the cash back. So, I saw something else in your notebook and made a little more than you asked for. I cut the templates from popsicle sticks. Sammy, you're amazing. Let's glue them into our sheepy bank. I just want to help you. In that case, let's use magic. Guys, the last one we glue crosswise. There. Now here we put the cardboard platforms. And insert the popsicle sticks. They'll be the lever of our pushing mechanism. Now, let's place a small cardboard piece on top. And... Ouch! <gasps> Sam, what does this mean? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Why do you need another rubber band to lash up dollar bills? <sighs> Sammy, don't rush. There's still one important part to put. While the rubber band is for the other side of the coin bank. Let's glue the wooden fastenings. And the second one. This mechanism is so crafty. Now tie them with these rubber bands, which actually hit quite painfully. Sorry, I won't do it again. Can we check out the work of the whole mechanism? <laughs> sure, let's throw the gumballs into our cash back section. Now I insert the coin, pull the lever, and get an instant cash back. Perfect! So we just need to turn this mechanism into a sheep? Correct. We're going to do it right now. I have a task for you as well. I'm ready. But first, we need to cover the mechanism from the other side with cardboard like this. Let's also put another fastening. And pull the rubber bands on the other side. Now, we'll need cardboard circles. First, let's cut out the actual circle. 
and the hole for the mechanism. You should make seven more pieces like this and glue them one by one. Can you do it? It's easier than counting the annual inflation. I'm off! Meanwhile, I'll get to the appearance of our sheep. So, it's time to make our coin bank look like a sheep! I already drew the contour of our sheep's face on the cardboard. Guys, be very careful working with sharp tools. Cut the face out carefully. And as you can see, guys, I made the ears very big on purpose. Guys, I made the sheep's wool from a regular cloth. How do you like it? <gasps> Here comes Sam. I can't believe he's already done. I had to recall a couple of new formulas and techniques, but I'm ready to present my work, Susie. You did great, Sammy. Now we can glue the face. Look, the coin bank is starting to look like a sheep. Huh, it really reminds me of something. Uh, did I mop the floor with this yesterday? <laughs> Good point. It's really made out of a cloth. And it's time to make our sheep warm. Here's the secret. We can always open the zipper and load new candies inside. It reminds me of a wireless speaker with a lock. Don't forget that it is a sheep, not a woolen speaker. And it has legs. Let's glue them well. I already glued the second, the third, and the fourth. Let's hurry up and finish it. I can't wait. <laughs> Hold on a little. We need to paint it as well. Let's mix the necessary colors. Okay, I'm gonna go do something else. Step aside. Here comes a great decorator. <laughs> <sighs> We just need to attach everything to our sheep. My finances urgently need a safe storage! And my soul wants the cash back, so let's speed up and finish it! First coin into the sheep. All right. Got it. But I have more coins. Let's see. Here's the second one. You can never have too much cash back. Hey, don't get carried away there. Okay, I'll throw in the rest of my coins later. It's more fun to save this way. All the cash back I will use right now. 